Before we begin this should have been a gig vlog video, I'd like to say a quick thank you to all the new subscribers. I've had a bit of a growth spurt on my channel this past week, which makes me real happy. So welcome and thank you. I will make more lessons in the style of the uh, Red Volker and Julian Lage videos that I've done, and uh, will probably come up within a week or something. Uh, if you have any suggestions for, for future lessons, please comment down below. Anyways, the plan for this video was to make sort of a gig vlog in the style of um, Adam Neely and Rich Shull. Really, really cool, well-produced gig vlogs, which I knew, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to reach their level. But I wanted to do something, something similar. Uh, I wanted to include the preparations and the sound check and uh, the gig itself and so on. But didn't really end up... Um, including that much of the gig itself because every time I try to pull out my phone to film something I was interrupted because we, we were supposed to sound check or play or whatever and uh, I ended up kind of just forgetting about the vlog at that point and, uh, and just had fun in the studio instead which I think was a better choice uh, because it, it was real fun uh, to just be, be playing music with other people <laughs> So the footage you're about to see was filmed in April this year and if you're wondering about my slight, slight change of skin color I've been out in the sun uh, this past few days a little bit too much and I was wearing sunglasses but not any sunscreen which was a bad choice. You could probably see my slight tan lines on my face <laughs> and big ones on my neck. Anyways, off to the video. Today we have a bit of a different type of video. I'm hoping this will be sort of a gig vlog, actually. Uh, I don't really have a gig tomorrow, but I have a live video recording session in a studio. Uh, Spin Road Studios, outside of Gothenburg here in Sweden. So I thought I'd just show you a bit um, what I'm bringing. Uh, because I will be using the studio's amp, uh, I think at least. But I have uh, actually sort of a really ambitious kind of rig setup uh, <laughs> this time around. I will be using uh, a few different extra effects that, I, that I'm not usually uh, bringing, so uh, yeah, I think it, it might be an interesting setup. I am gonna attempt to use two amps uh, in kind of a different way than, I, than what I'm usually using, and uh, when I tried it in rehearsals, I had a huge issue with humming noise uh, coming from one of the amps. So I'm gonna try to use batteries in some of the pedals and hopefully that will sort the problem out. So I'll run you through the rig and uh, show you everything that I have here at home. Uh, some of it is in the rehearsal space where we're going to uh, stop by uh, tomorrow before the session. Um, but Today I'm gonna pack what I have here at home. I'm gonna change strings and so on, and uh, yeah, I'll just show you guys. So for now, I think I'm gonna use this Fender Telecaster Mexican made uh, from 1992. I'm gonna, as I said, restring it in a while uh, to have fr fresh strings. I'm using. Uh, we're playing in drop C tuning, uh, so down a whole step and then another whole step on the uh, low E string. Um, I'm using 10 to 52 Ernie Ball uh, green slinky strings, uh, regular or whatever it's called. Uh, from that I'm going to decide on one of the two boost pedals that I'm going to use. It's either it's either going to be the treble booster or the regular power booster that I'm usually using. 
they have got one of the uh, Supro amps uh, that I'm kind of uh, interested to see how it sounds. If it's very dark sounding, I'm gonna probably use the treble booster. After that, I'm going to my tuning pedal, uh, which I don't have here at home. It's just a regular TC Electronics Polytune, the first version, I think, the big white version. After that, I am going to split the signal with this Behringer Ultra Chorus pedal to, uh, to split the signal into two different chains. And let's start with the main amp, uh, because it's the Supro amp, as I said, and it's gonna have... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just checking my notes here, <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm looking at. Uh, I am gonna use the TC Electronic Hall of Fame reverb pedal uh, before the amp here. And that signal goes, as I said, to the Supro amp, and I'm gonna set the amp a bit distorted as a good kind of rhythm tone, and use the boost pedal for, for leads, of course. From the other side of the chorus pedal, the, uh, the side that actually does the pitch shifting uh, in the chorus, uh, I am gonna go to a different effects chain. I'm gonna use two pedals that I don't have here at home. Uh, it's the uh, Behringer, I think it's called Ultra Octave or something, um, just an octave pedal with the octave below. And after that I'm gonna use <coughs> an Ibanez Autowa, or Auto Filter, I think it's called, uh, the AF9 from the 80s. That, that whole effects chain goes into the Pignos amp and I'm gonna use a, sort of a mute switch. So the Pignos amp with the Auto Filter and the Octave pedals uh, isn't that loud in the mix, but uh, if you have good headphones or good pair of speakers, you can probably hear me kicking it in for certain phrases and, uh, and licks. Both pedals were pretty much on the entire time, and I switched on and off the entire signal chain going through the amp. Uh, the only exception was the ending part of the second song with the big solo and stuff. Uh, there, uh, I had the auto filter turned off. My regular guitar amp is panned right, and the pig nose is straight up the middle, so you can look out for that on sections like these. Från Tedak, stereo. Har du en sak? Jag? Nej, jag har fan inte. Frågar Jonas. Ja, men det är en bättre. Hallå! Hejsan! Ser du, vi kan se hur det ser ut om ni tre ställer på era platser. Så då måste vi... That's it for this time. Uh, I really want to do more proper gig vlogs in the future, but I really need some gigs for that to happen, so we'll see. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to head over to the full Spin Road session, which is linked down below. See you next time.